We saw in the previous video how to create an object manually. In this video, I'll show you how we can import objects in bulk from a file, in this case a CSV file. Here we can see our laptop object type has no laptops in it. I'd like to import this CSV file of laptops into my laptop object type. We can see our laptops are the rows and the columns are the different attributes we set earlier. When importing the Jira user as the owner, I'm using the Jira user's unique ID. To import this file, I can select Object Schema and Configure. Then I'll go to the Import tab, and I'll click here to create an import and select CSV. I need to give my import a name, and everything else I'm going to leave as default. Next, I upload my file and say which delimiter and encoding it has, and save the configuration. Now the import engine will offer to create some mappings for me. First, with this option, I can create a new object type with the attributes the importer thinks I want from the CSV file. Now I've already created the laptop object type, so I'm going to skip this step. On the right side, I can select the laptop object and click Create Predefined Configuration. And this will map my CSV column titles to the attributes in my Insight laptop object type. Once that is done, I can close this and look at the configuration it's created. If I expand this, we can see how it's being configured. The data locator is the column name in my CSV file, and we can see that they have been mapped to various attributes in my laptop object type. All have been mapped correctly. The last thing that remains to be done is to add some object mapping. This is needed for the attributes that are referencing or linking to other objects. In my case, the location attribute. I need to be more prescriptive about what to actually reference here. I need to say, look for an object whose name field is equal to the value in the location data locator, i.e. look for an object whose name is the same as the value in the location column in my CSV. And then we're done. Now I can click here and tell it to execute the import. I'll click through these steps and we can see that a number of objects have been imported. If I go back to my object schema and go to the laptop object type, we can see that these have all been imported correctly. So now you know how to import a file into InSight. Check out the documentation for more specific details on importing.